Today, we are going to compare an iPad mini to a Kindle Paperwhite for reading comic books. Let's jump into it. On the left, I have the iPad mini, and on the right, I have the Kindle Paperwhite. Let's measure the actual screen that's occupying. This looks like it's five by six. It was about five by six. And this is three and a half by four and a half. So it's a substantial size difference in the comparison. The Kindle will actually fit in the iPad there. Let's do this. The monochrome look of the Kindle does look pretty sharp though, right? It does look pretty cool. Um, let's see, let's get to the comic book here. It does give it a noirish look, like a film noir, black and white classic look, the black and white. Some people are saying it's better for your eyes. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, the color on the iPad though, is just popping off the screen. I love the coloring and it looks a little bit sharper with color and um, the Kindle does look a little bit sharp, but I like the color better It's just pop for a comic book. The colors are such an important aspect of it. It's popping off the screen and I think it's a little bit of a sharper image also. I don't know if it's the size and the color, but I think it's sharper too, the iPad. Now, this is Guided View, which is, these are both, I got Comixology on my iPad, and I downloaded Comixology on the Kindle, but Comixology and Amazon merged. So Amazon, you know, took in Comixology, so now they're the same thing. So on the Kindle now, you can merge Amazon and Comixology. <laughs> so the books that you have on Comixology can also be in your Kindle. <laughs> and that looks pretty good, right? They both look pretty good, but... I, like, I think I like the color. For a comic book, I prefer the color and the size of the iPad mini. And I love the guided view. I'm a big fan of the guided view. I love seeing panel to panel as opposed to um, page to page. I like seeing the panels blown up like this. I think it's just really cool. It's just like a new experience and a, a newer way of reading. You don't see the next panel coming. I think it's uh, terrific. Oh, that looks sharp there. The Kindle on the right. Everybody put your hands in the air. All right, I don't want to be too biased. This is... Uh, Ultimate Spider-Man Marvel Comics by uh, Michael Bendis. This is, he had a run, I think this is what, 2003 or 2004 as Ultimate Spider-Man came out. I thought I'd pick this book. It's a nice sample. Let's pick another comic book so we're not biased. Let's see if I get another book in here. This is another Marvel book. It's Star Wars Darth Vader. Uh, this is a very contemporary book. I think this is from the last, uh, what, three years? This is the uh, Soul is on writing duties here. Oh, the iPad looks much better with the coloring, with the writing, the uh, setup before the comic, and the scroll there. Oh, those both look great. Look at that imagery. Oh, they both look classic, right? What a shot. Oh, man, the iPad looks like you're in the movie theater, right? Oh, the Kindle looks very faded. Oh, the iPad's like you're in, it's like the film roll, like you're in the movie theater. Let's see the scroll. The scroll's like you're in the theater. Oh, the color there. Oh, the color is really popping on this comic. Look how beautiful this artwork is, right? In the uh, contemporary books. So the Kindle does do the job. It's pretty sharp. It has guided view. Um, you can download the comics. It's pretty simple. But um, I love the colorization and the guided view. His guided view again of Vader. Look at that shot of Vader. It's great, right? But the Kindle is pretty sharp, right? It does its job. There's a nice uh, image there. Finish him. I prefer the size of the iPad mini and the color. Let me know in the comments below what you guys like. Let's pick another comic here. Let's get one more comic because maybe we're being too biased uh, to the iPad uh, advantageous to it because it's really uh, the Kindles. I think uh, I enjoy the Kindle for reading like books and comics. I enjoy the iPad. So maybe it's my own bias. But let me grab another book here. Oh, look at that shot, huh? I'll grab a DC book, right? Make it favorite. I'll try to grab one that's by, that's more conducive to the Kindle. I'll try to grab a comic book that's biased towards the Kindle to give it a fair shake. Great shot, right? Look at that. All right, let me grab a book here and we will do... All right, here's Gotham by Gaslight, a Batman book. This is like the first Elseworlds uh, story. This is from the 80s, right? Is this like, uh, I'm gonna guess, 87 or something, 86? I'm Batman. 
Um, but this one, it has a black and white classic noirish feel to it. So maybe the Kindle will really shine in this. Um, here's the uh, scrolls here. Right, it has a noirish feel to it. So maybe the Kindle will actually be more conducive to this kind of book. Yeah, it looks pretty sharp, right? That monochrome look does look pretty good with the uh, Gotham by Gaslight. All right, let's check out some panels here. It's pretty good, right? It's almost, I mean, there's some blues on the uh, left there, some color we can stand out, but for the most part, it's a black and white comic book for the first couple pages. It looks pretty good. Let me know in the comments below, because um, I'm reading like maybe more than 50% of my comics now on my computer and my iPad. I have a Kindle, but I mostly read books on it. But I wanted to do a side-by-side -side comparison on the net and on YouTube. I didn't see a side-by-side -side comparison, so I wanted to do one. iPad mini versus the Kindle uh, Paperwhite. Um, I thought it would be kind of cool. Let me know if I missed anything. If you wanted to see something in the comments below. Um, the Kindle does hold up better on a book like this. And I'm thinking now manga might be very good for the Kindle because they're all black and white. There's no color, right, in the uh, manga. So let me know if you want me to do a manga one. Maybe I'll do one like this for manga to see if you guys want to use a, your Kindle for that. Because those books don't have... I think only some of them have color. Most of them, like 90% of them are black and white. But the Kindle does do the job. It looks good. But I'm probably going to stick with the uh, iPad. I like the size. I like the color of the comic book. That it pops. But yeah, Kindle does have a uh, guided view. And Amazon and Comixology did merge, so you can start using uh, Amazon products like the Kindle and uh, Comixology together. So let me know if you like this kind of content in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Like it, subscribe if you like the content, and I will see you guys next time. I'm back.